Hi, my name is Sabine Patzel and I'm a PhD student at the Technical University of Munich. And today I would like to talk to you about how we use multiverse and specification curve analysis as an assessment of generality of effects for our meta-analytical structural equation model, where we're looking at the relationship between creative potential and creative self-assessment measures. I would like to start off with a quick theoretical background. So basically, it's assumed that everyone has a certain amount of, specific, of creative potential within them. Um, two indicators of creative potential are, for example, um, divergent thinking and intelligence, both of which correlate with creative achievement. However, um, creative potential does not necessarily lead to creative achievements, um, as the relationship might be partially um, influenced by uh, factors relating to the creative self, such as, for example, creative self-beliefs. This is why we chose to look at the relationship between creative self-assessment measures and um, two indicators of creative potential, um, being intelligence and diversion thinking. We use um, structural equation modeling, specifically um, TSSEM with an extension for random effects models and the VPL approach as multiple studies reported more than one effect size. And we assume them to be dependencies among effect sizes. To test um, how robust our structural equation model is, we use subgroup analysis to test um, whether the parameters uh, estimates are actually um, equal across um, CSA type, so creative self-assessment types, and age groups. Um, just a quick heads up, these are all preliminary data, so please don't <laughs> interpret them. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea how our models look like. So for example, we are looking at the relationship between divergent thinking and creative self-assessments and testing whether they are mediated, for example, by intelligence. We're also, um, as I already told you, doing subgroup analysis. So we look at the different models depending on whether children were assessed or, for example, adults were assessed. Um, one downside of meta-analytical structural equation modeling is actually um, that you're, it's kind of limited when it comes to how many uh, different moderators you can include at the same time which is why we chose to uh, also apply or use another approach to test the robustness of our uh, model, being modules and specification curve analysis. Um, as I already told you, um, we're looking at different age groups um, and uh, different creative self-assessment types, but there are various other moderator variables. For example, um, what kind of divergent thinking outcome was used, um, the test mod modality of divergent thinking, whether there was some kind of time condition in the tests, and so on. And all these different moderators, you could say, could potentially influence our primary studies. And in that, they could also influence our moderator or our, our metadata structural equation model. Um, when doing a multiverse analysis, these um, different factors, which I told, called uh, moderators before, are actually called which factors, as you're thinking about which uh, data could possibly been, have been analyzed in the primary studies. And you're also looking at how factors, um, which basically... Um, tell you how the data is meta-analyzed. Meta and what you're doing is you're um, combining all these different kind of which factors and the subgroups. So for example, um, whether a female sample was used, children were investigated, fluency was reported as an outcome and so on. And you're combining these with the different how factors. And these lead to a lot <laughs> of different specifications, and for all of which we are computing at analytical summary effects. And at the end, we're basically comparing all these possible uh, meta-analytical summary effects 
and we get a mean over these summer effects. And it tells us how robust um, a correlation is um, depending on which data was analyzed and how the data was analyzed. And yeah, we're doing the meta, this uh, multi version specification curve analysis for all our bivariate relationships. So for CSA and divergent thinking, divergent thinking intelligence, as well as intelligence and CSA. Um, just as a way to get an idea of how robust our uh, meta analytical structural equation model actually is. Um, I would like to show you our specification curve um, from the relationship between the original thinking and creative self-assessment measures um, to give you an idea how it could look like or it looks like at the moment. Um, yeah, so at the top part of the model, um, you can see um, the dark line, which are the summer effects from all our different specifications. Um, these colored areas are the respective confidence intervals. So for example, um, this summer effect over here with this quite large um, confidence interval, then we're going down to the bottom part of the plot, um, was uh, computed using a total sex sample um, with adults, Variable modality, and down here you have the, the how factors. So this gives us um, the information on which kind of which factors and how factors were used, how they were combined, and what kind of summary effect they yielded. We also get uh, information by the colors. Um, so, for example, uh, warmer or hot colors represent combinations of which and how factors that only included a few effect sizes and cooler colors such as blue or green represent a um, combination with more uh, effect sizes. And when looking at our, our graph, you can see that um, there are a lot of effect sizes uh, in the middle of the plot and that actually the magnitude doesn't increase um, a lot. So most of our effect sizes are actually in the area of 0.1 to 0.2, and which basically speaks for the robustness of our effect, of, especially when you're considering all these different kinds of possible specifications. Next off, um, we looked at, or we look at the, look at the um, total summary effect from all these different kinds of specifications, um, which is a correlation of 0.17. And as you can see, 50% of all our different combinations of um, which and how factors yielded a summary effect between 0.13 and 21. So our um, correlation seems to be quite robust. We can also use a parametric bootstrapping approach to um, do inferential testing. The red curve represents our specification curve and the gray area is um, basically the curve under the null scenario of a possible zero effect, um, which clearly deviates from our specification curve. So at least for the relationship between divergent thinking and creative self-assessment measures, our um, the included correlations seem to be quite robust. Um, so, um, you could say it doesn't matter that we can't include um, so many different moderator variables and um, as the correlations seem to be quite robust. Yes. Um, that's it for my talk. I hope it gave you an idea how you can multiverse, use multiverse and specification curve analysis to test the robustness of your uh, meta-analytical structural equation model. Um, as I already told you, we would like uh, to do this, the same analysis for the other two bivariate relationships as well, to test how um, robust our, our model is. Um, yeah, if you're generally, or if you're interested in our project, feel free to write me an email. We also did a pre-registration of the study and that's it for today. Thank you.